Oh man, I haven't been this excited about a video in a minute. If you didn't read the title of the video, let me tell you what's going on. We are going to take a 0, zero, zero dart monkey, right? Just a base dart monkey and god boost it. And I mean really god boost it. Enabled, we have magic paragons, which means we can get the alchemist paragon, which gives an insane buff. We have primary paragons, which means we can get the glue gunner paragon, which also... It, it's ridiculous. We have the gold village to get every buff in the game and the cherry on top 1000 times attack speed. Actually, no, let's just like max it out as fast as you could possibly go. Multiply fire rate by that. I know it's not going to be 900 quadrillion or whatever this is. It has like a cap. It has a limit. Okay, we'll be doing good old fashioned monkey meadow on easy mode. Let's get down the star of the show. Ooh, you guys are not ready for this. I was about to say we're gonna need some other stuff to help this guy out in the early games, but again, I forgot he has the maximum attack speed already. That means all we need to do for him, we'll get a radar scanner and an alchemist. And yeah, that should be good. Let's uh, upgrade these farms a little bit. Look at that. I was thinking about it and I was like, I want this dart monkey to get every bit of damage. But then I realized there's no way that's possible because we're gonna get down the paragons. We're gonna get down the sun god village. Like other things are gonna do damage. Okay, so it's not all gonna be him. I think I need to disclaim that now, but he is going to be the star of the show. We want the most damage with him. And if you can't already tell, we want to get like good farms as early as possible. We're going to need a lot of money for this. I forgot he's primary, so I went ahead and got primary mentoring. I don't want to get expertise because we have a thousand times attack speed or a million, billion, trillion times attack speed. So that means this guy's going to attack too. We don't want that. Plus, we're going to have the gold village. We'll get all those buffs anyway. That should be good on farms for now. Actually, let's sell one of these. We'll rebuy this. We don't want the tier five. We're going to do this. We're going to get this guy to tier five because then monkeyopolis. Nice. And now we rebuy all the banana farms. Magic button. You ready? Shabam. I think right now would be a good time to start getting the gold village, get these upgrades going. Also, we cannot hit those. I gotta rebuy the radar scanner for a sec. Also, this permabrew is starting to piss me off. I need to move him away. That's why we got the Chinook. And look at that. Now it has the buff still, but it's not like, yeah, you know. If you've never seen the gold village before, I'm gonna briefly explain the upgrades. With no upgrades, it has a sun god buff. You get this one, it gives you the true sun god buff. This one basically gives you like every support ability buff in the game. See that? We have the primary expertise without even needing it. So let's see this. First BFB round 60 coming in. Look at that. <laughs> Just gone. Geraldo goodness essentially gives it a sharpening stone, a jar of pickles, except it doesn't slow down the fire rate. Just does more damage. Alongside a camo potion for some extra range. Look at that. Look at the range now. Beautiful, beautiful. You know what? Actually, I'm going to move him over here. I don't want him killing everything right at the start of the track. I feel like that's boring to watch, like I always say. Look, now he has this sort of range so it takes a second then they come in and it's in a straight path stacking simulator essentially gives you this ability it spawns in these turrets um i just realized we spawned in 20 um oh god i should not have clicked that come on am i able to sell this village holy shit please my game is completely frozen i need to sell it dude selling the village didn't even get rid of them i need to restart god damn it okay lesson learned do not do that again let me rebuy all my stuff Okay, here we go. We're back. That was a terrible, terrible idea. I'm not doing that again. So yeah, I think you guys understand what that does. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Okay. Watch it attack. It's like a crossbow master, but like way better and more satisfying. The straight line just takes care of everything instantly. I love it. The self overclock replica basically gives you 10% more attack speed every single round. Like it stacks upon this guy. I don't know if it's going to do anything because I think we already have the maximum attack speed for this guy, but it is modded. So it might, I don't know. It could go unlimited. So hopefully that that'll give it an additional 500% attack speed, but if not, we're gonna be okay. Let's go ahead and get a second village so we can uh, get the bottom path, you know. This one basically turns it into a permabrew and it gives you like an ultra boost and everything. The only problem is it's gonna be splashing, so that's really annoying, but who really cares? This one gives you all support abilities in the game, like the activated ones, look at the bottom right here. Not every single one, but most of them, you know. Kind of buffs gives you the glue storm and the fire storm, like uh, Gwendolyn's thing alongside the glue storm ability. This one replicates the buff from the super embrittlement. And this one replicates the monkey power boost. Okay, it's ridiculous. Now we got the golden villages maxed out. They're crazy. Let's start ultra boosting this guy. Once again, I don't know if it's really going to do that much, but we might as well. Let's get every single buff possible on this guy. We're on round 78 right now. I'm waiting for the ceramics to come in. I feel like that's going to be so satisfying. Just popping them all at once right down the line. 
Look at that. Yeah, that's so beautiful, dude. Round 80 for ZUMG coming in. We're not going to use any uh, support. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like the uh, abilities, like the homeland defense or whatever. But yeah, it took care of it. You saw that. Here comes the first BAD. We'll activate a homeland, power, embrittlement. Um, what else? Throw another ultra boost, I guess. And and just like that, it is gone. Unfortunately, this village has more range than this somehow. Look at that. It's dealing damage, but it, it's going to matter right now. But later on, it's not going to matter. We're going to need a lot of damage coming from both of them. Let's do something fun. We'll go ahead and get total transformation. And then we will get Bloom Master Alchemist. Does this thing have global range? What the fuck? Look at that. It's shooting across the entire map. Oh no. It's kind of satisfying, dude. Throwing the piss bottles. Oh no, you're pissing on me. No. I just realized we need this in range of this. Okay, right there. At this point, we'll go ahead and get the Alchemist Paragon. It doesn't really matter the degree, I don't think. Degree 10. If you've never seen this thing before, it turns everything into these and it also splashes, uh, where is it? It's supposed to splash like this extra stuff on top. Yeah, see, look at that right there. Maybe we need to rebuy this dart monkey. And yeah, there we go. Look at that. That thing is basically like a permabrew, but just much, much better. Oh, that's nice. It doesn't actually shoot the rubber to gold unless it's in range. And it's like not against a Moab class balloon, just like the regular guys. So I guess that doesn't even deal damage, which is nice. I was wrong. I guess this turns everything into red balloons. That's why we have so many coming in like that. Wait a minute. It still has the buff. So maybe we don't even need to rebuy it. That would be really, really nice. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to go ahead and try to get a VTSG down in this corner. Anti-balloon, Legend of the Night. I think that should be it. Let's try it. Please be a VTSG. Come on. You know you want to be. Oh my god, no! So I turned on this mod that allows us to get a VTSG without having like full sacrifices, you know? So that means we can do just support and it like it won't have the planes or anything, which is really, really nice. Anti-balloon, Legend of the Night. Click this. Now watch. Please? Yes, BTSG. Perfect, perfect. Now look at the best part. It doesn't have the planes. It's not going to attack, but it's still going to give the buff. So we get a super range and that. And we throw down a permabrew. Then we move the permabrew away down here. Sweet. Now look at that. We got the VTSG buff, but it doesn't have the planes. So we don't need to worry about too much damage. It's going to hit them when it gets close, but oh well i guess now we can go ahead and rebuy the alchemist paragon because when i left the game it got rid of the buff which is kind of unfortunate but now we save up a million dollars we get that and then we get the glue gunner paragon and that thing is ridiculous too <laughs> all right here we go hyper science get that and it should now have the buff if we rebuy it okay we sell this guy we rebuy him and he should have the buff come on dude why was it working before but not now it gives it to everything else why is it not giving it to this okay we got it now we just need to shinnick it over Whew, having me worried for a sec okay yeah see Ooh, we got it we got it we got it and if i were to sell this guy it keeps it Perfect. Look at the damage going up on a free dart monkey. We're not even done yet. Look at that. 4.5 million already. We got the 10 times ultra boost back. Now we need to work on the glue gunner paragon. I don't even know like the best spot to get it. We'll just get it right here, I guess. Superb glue. Get that down. And the range is really, really small. Hold on one sec. It means we might need to get it like more towards over here. Okay, superb glue is down. It does a lot of damage, but the thing is once it splashes on them, it gives like a huge, huge damage buff to this. Look at the damage going up now. Oh man, it still outranges it. Okay, we need to get it even further up, I guess. Like we wait for a BAD to come in, splashes on it. We're not even sped up. Look at the damage going up. It's it's insane. Now you have Vengeful, all the sun gods, 10 times ultra boost, um, primary expertise, alchemist paragon buff, glue gunner buff. Is there anything else I can do? I don't think so. Actually, what if we get the submarine paragon? That might work. That, that could be good. We submerge this, so it should give a buff, right? Does it only give a buff to uh, water towers? If it does, that sucks. Let me see. Yeah, I guess it only does it for water towers. Ooh. I was going to say we should get Glaive Dominus for the attack speed buff, but we already have that from the village. Watch if I do this. We go boom, 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 boom. Look at all those buffs, dude. It's insane. Now at this point, we sell all of our farms and we just see how far we can go, I guess. I want you guys to keep in mind, it's round 165 right now. Like these have been hard rounds. It's doing a lot of damage, 21 million already. Why don't we try out round 200? Can it take it down? All right, round 200, we activate a homeland, power, power, this, this, 
And what's the damage looking like? Uh, 27 million. Embrittlement, power, homeland. And it's gone. Sweet, we beat round 200. Let's see if we can do what, like 250? Okay, here it comes. We'll activate all these boosts again. Bam, bam, bam. Fortified BAD coming in. Look at the damage going up. This is what I'm talking about. 41 million, almost 42 already. This is a zero, zero, zero. Keep that in mind. This is a free dart monkey. Taking him down 44 and a half. Nice. We took care of round 250. All right, this is my final test. Round 300. Can it take it down? Boom, boom. Activate you. Uh, embrittlement. Uh, you. More ultra boost. It's so laggy, dude. Come on. Take down the fortified BAD. Come on. You know you want to. It's so close. We can freeze all of this stuff. Slow it down. Well. No. We lost. No way, dude. Glue Gunner had 23 million. This guy had 55 million. And the Dart Monkey had 52 million. So I guess in the end, the VTSG did do more than the Dart Monkey. But it should. It's a thousand times attacking speed. VTSG. Of course it should do more. Let me know if there's any buffs that I missed because I feel like there's something else out there in the game that'll make this thing even crazier. Let me know. We can try it again or do another tower, you know. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Adios.